Hi everyone and welcome to any new watchers and welcome back to my subscribers. Today I'm going to do something different and I actually haven't seen it being done before. Maybe it's out there. I'm going to sketch a couple of turtles and then I'm going to take a hot glue gun and re-sketch them with the hot glue gun. It'll all make sense once you see it. After that, I'm going to do an acrylic pour once it's all completely dry. And once the acrylic pour has dried, I'm then going to watercolor the turtles so that they'll look like they're sitting on the water, particularly with the glue gun texture. <music> Here's my finished sketch. It is just just a, a quick sketch. I love actually painting or drawing turtles, and I used watercolor pencils for it just because they really dissolve well. Faber Castell is my go-to brand. Now I am going to put use the glue gun to go over the turtles, which is basically like another sketch. So I'm again going to do a time lapse for this one. Glue has dried now, and I have Colore acrylic paints. I'm on my winter island escaping the Connecticut winter. These paints are just absolutely gorgeous. I had them shipped from Amazon, but the colors that they come with are a little limited, and I need a turquoise. So I'm going to show you how I mixed my turquoise. Um, that's just what I have to do. This is the turquoise that I am creating and to get this I used pale green, cerulean blue, just a little bit of Floetrol and you add as much white as you want to get the lightness of the turquoise and then the other thing is use a clear plastic cup because then you can see if you've really blended it so you can see here I haven't blended it that well I'm going to keep mixing I won't bore you with that and then I'll come back once it's mixed the turquoise is mixed have a tiny little bit of dark blue just to stir in, you can see that on the edge, and just really make sure that you, you mix this because otherwise your pour might be a little blotchy. Now I'm gonna mix a dark turquoise, and to do that, I'm going to combine a phthalo green and a phthalo blue, and some white with a little bit of Floetrol. All my colors are mixed, I have uh, my white, my dark turquoise, my light turquoise, and another blue that I've mixed. Basically, it's just my concoction. I'm going to use a jug. So the way I'm going to pour it is like a tree ring pour, where you go round and round and round and round, um, trying to create, create the ocean that the turtles are in. And... To do that, you pour them into the jug one at a time, 
rather than it's not quite it is a dirty pour but it's not quite a dirty pour you pour them down the edge over the spout and then when they come out they almost come out separately instead of how if you did a flip cup it's just a little different technique if you haven't tried it try it it's a lot of fun and practice makes perfect jug full of paint. I'm going to pour it as if I were doing a tree ring pour. First I'm going to cover all the edges with white paint and you won't actually see a lot of the paint because I'm going to pour it on and then I'm going to tilt it. Um, all the white paint is doing at this point is it's going to help the paint in the jug flow really well. Is nothing worse than when you do a, you know a pour and it doesn't meet the edges and you can use whatever you want to cover those edges I'm just using a plastic fork because that's all I had at hand now I'm going to do the tree ring pour and you go round and round as do it at a moderate pace don't rush it Sorry, I'm going to move around here so you can see it a little bit better. And you'll see as I do it, the colors have come out. I love how the fluidity of this paint turned out. I'm going to tilt it. The reason I'm tilting it is because I want to like create waves because the turtles are in the ocean. You get a different effect if you didn't tilt it. Now I'm going to tilt it side to side very slowly. And you can see how that white paint is really helping my blues cover all, all the sides and all the edges. So just keep tilting. It's hard to get a grasp of how it's going to look. Uh, once you see it's dried and once you see this process happen, you'll, you'll understand. It's the next day and the acrylic pour has dried. If I tilt this into the light, you can see the outline of my hot glue garden sketch. And now I can, yeah, I hope you can see that. And I have, here is my sketchbook. This is where I do all my sketches before I really, you know, go into my art. I'm going to use this as a reference for the colors that I want to use in the turtles. This is going to be really handy and I won't really have to, like, double think of what I'm going to do. Now I'm going to do my watercolour as usual. I use two cups, one to clean the brush and one to use the water for the paint so I don't contaminate the paints. And if you go through my videos, you'll see my other watercolours explain that. My watercolour brushes, I'm going to put them in the water, although I think I'm going to use a fairly fine one for this. I'm going to tilt the canvas because it's kind of hard to see the hot glue gun outline of my turtles. Enjoy this time lapse.
And there you have it. If I bring you up for a closer look, you can see how textured the hot glue gun made my turtles. Much stand, stand out, absolutely fabulous. Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit subscribe and click on the links below and check out my Etsy store. See you next time.